Hey, Snacker Stars, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you with pizza night. I've gone to a regional establishment that's been around forever and ever. I'll give you one hint. Their jingle goes, ooh, ooh. I'll be right back to let you know whose it is. Pizza night rolls on, and we are in Alexandria tonight for Jerry's Subs and Pizza on South Pickett Street here in Alexandria, right next to the King Pollo, uh, Peruvian chicken and Latin food, which seems like it's a really bustling center of activity this evening. And the Jerry's itself doesn't look like it has a whole lot going on in there, but they do deliver. I am here to try out their pizza tonight, whereas their subs are generally their specialty. The Jerry Subs and Pizza is located in the Pickett Street Plaza here at the corner of Van Dorn Street and South Pickett. As you can see, very busy hustle and bustle of the area going by across from a TD Bank and the Red Lobster where you can get some pretty yummy Cheddar Bay Biscuits if you're lucky. Anyway. I'll be right back to take a look at Jerry's Subs and Pizza and their slant on a pepperoni pizza. All right, gang, pizza night is on the air for Friday night, January 9th, 2015. And no, I haven't replaced the calendar yet, so we don't have any wit and witticisms of the day. But we have gone to Jerry's Subs and Pizza today to get today's pizza night subject. All right, so let's look here at the ridiculously expensive Brandon Sack 5000 adorned with the SAS name. And it says pizza night. What do you know? Open that bad boy up. Let's see here, first of all, got another menu. I don't think it's any different than the other one. Yeah, actually it is different than the other one. It indicates that they deliver, and they have a $5.99 Monday night special for a large pizza. Tonight's not Monday night, I'll tell you that much. All right, let me pull it out of here. Voila! It is fresh, hot, and delicious pizza, or at least it is according to them. Uh, they don't have their own box. I'm kind of surprised about that, because Jerry's has been around since 1954. Uh, they started in this area, in uh, the Wheaton, Maryland area, actually. And uh, they've expanded, I think, all the way up into Pennsylvania and maybe even Delaware. They've got a pretty big, uh, you know, pizza empire, really built on their subs, though, I would say, uh, in this area. And they're pretty darn famous. They used to have some pretty uh, famous commercials as well with Ken Ober on them from Remote Control. Remember that? Anyway, uh, let me open them up, see what I got. Oh, right. That absolutely looks fantastic. I'm shocked. Um, I got the large pepperoni pizza. No, not just pepperoni. I got the super double pepperoni. The large, $14.99. Not cheap. So, yeah, definitely not the Monday night special at all. Now, I haven't had a Jerry's pizza probably in close to 20 years. Uh, I know a girl I used to mess around with in high school like Jerry's, but we normally, you know, as kids, thought of Jerry's as cheap pizza, not one that you'd want to eat. And I think I remember we used to call it crackers and ketchup. I don't know why, but this doesn't look like crackers and ketchup, guys. This looks like a quality double pepperoni pizza. I mean, look at the way those pepperonis are folded up. You got some browning on them from the pizza oven there. Holy crap, I'm getting excited. I haven't had a good pepperoni pizza in a long time. That crust it does look a little thin to me, so maybe that's where we got our uh, crackers thing from back in the day. It's not thin there or there, but when you come around here, it's practically... As thin as a cracker. Yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, so let's see if we can't dig this 420 slice up out of here. It's not crispy. I have now learned that. Okay, hard to rip apart backwards with your left hand when you're right-handed, but that's okay. All right, 
Yeah, we actually got a very floppy piece of pizza, so no cracker going on there. Uh, they describe it as New York-style pizza, and I actually believe them at this point, because it is nice and floppy like a nice big New York slice of pizza. It's just a little thinner than what you normally see from a New York slice. You know, I guess that could be changed at your liking. Lots of pepperoni on there. Not too thin. I'm shaking a little bit because I'm very hungry. And, uh, yeah, that looks fantastic. Browning on the cheese, the whole bit. It smells pretty darn good, too. I'm actually pretty excited about this Jerry's Pizza from Jerry's Subs and Pizza, and I'll be right back to taste it to tell you more about it and to give it a rating. All right, gang, I am pleasantly surprised by the way that pizza looks. It smells really good, and I can't wait to take a bite of Jerry's Pizza from Jerry's Subs and Pizza. All right, let me uh, open this bad boy back up. And we'll go ahead and hook up that 420 slice that we already picked up out of there. Got our little plate here. All right, gang. Nothing to do but to do it to it. Let me do that to it one more time and see what I can come up with. Mmm. I am really surprised, okay? Uh, first of all, I think this pizza was a little expensive for about a 14 inch pizza for $15 from a place that's not necessarily one of the number one pizza places in the area. But with that being said, after tasting it, I think it regains a little bit of its worth. Um, there's not a lot of sauce on here is the first thing you notice right off the bat. Very sparse on the sauce, but I'm okay with that. I'm one of those type of people that if there's no sauce on there, that's not a big deal to me, really. Not a deal breaker. But, that being said also, uh, I think it might have been able to use a little bit more sauce so I could review it a little bit better. The sauce kind of gets an incomplete grade uh, because I just don't know much about it. Mm. Kind of tastes like spaghetti sauce, actually, uh, rather than pizza sauce, but that's okay, too. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. It's got kind of a tang to it, and it's a little bit on the thick side in the areas where there is some. Uh, the cheese is exactly how I remembered it. It's got a very funky feet-like uh, taste to the cheese, which is okay. Uh, I think that, you know, gives it a true quote-unquote cheesy flavor. Um, it's not real stretchy and pulley. It kind of breaks apart pretty easily, so it's not the super-duper highest quality, but it's pretty darn good. Now, the pepperoni is where this thing absolutely comes together and uh, is the absolute highlight of this pizza, of course. Uh, the fact that it is crisp around the edges really scores extra points for me. It's got a smoky, spicy flavor that's pretty darn good. I've had their pepperoni before in their subs, and I've always liked it, and I'm glad that I got it tonight in the double pepperoni pizza. Now, I'm not sure what makes it the super double pepperoni, but... I like it pretty darn good. The crust uh, is nice and floppy. Uh, it's not crispy, thankfully, even in the areas where it's almost wafer thin. That's good to know. Uh, not a ton of chewy, uh, crusty flavor, so to speak, like you would get from a New York pizza, but still passable. Um, I've got nothing bad to say about this pizza, uh, really, honestly, to tell you the truth. Um, other than the sauce is just a little sparse and a little thick and the cheese, you know, is okay. So because it's not perfect, I can't give it a perfect score. It's not even quite like a 7 8 thumbs up. But I think I will go ahead and give it a 3 quarters thumbs up for the Jerry's Subs and Pizza Large Double Pepperoni Pizza. Super Double Pepperoni, they call it. $14.99 plus tax came to $16.49. Um, hey, sometimes you got to pay for a decent pizza, and this is definitely better than decent pizza. So 
there you go. Thanks for watching Pizza Night this week. Uh, if you want to learn more about the SAS, you can be an SAS member by clicking on the link in the description down below. Join the SAS group on Facebook, 350 of the coolest people in the whole damn world. No doubt about it, son. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter at BrandonReichSAS. Uh, that's the same handle as my Instagram as well. You can see everything that's happening with the SAS by following the hashtag on those sites. Snack Society. And also, uh, if you have anything to say about this video, put it in the comments below. Like, share, uh, favorite. The Black Cap Chickadee also says subscribe. So in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.